we are starting the book marathon tomorrow and um, i'd like to speak a few words that we, you can remember while doing this service you have all committed to spiritual life committed to make advancement in spiritual life advancement in spiritual life means awakening of transcendental knowledge developing detachment from this body and developing attachment to krishna understanding the transcendental nature of krishna understanding the reality of vaikuntha understanding the limitations of this material world these are all the gifts that one can receive as divya gyan within one's heart <coughs> it will change our outlook towards life outlook towards who we are or outlook towards the rest of the world that transformation can come if we have the guru kripa mercy of shila prabhu pada so how to get this guru kripa that is the uh, real question how to get this guru kripa in the bhagavad gita itself krishna says pari prashnena sevaya not only seeking transcendental knowledge from guru it has to be accompanied by sevaya pari prashnena sevaya one has to engage in service to a pure devotee shila prabhupad and ultimately anything any gift of krishna consciousness that you have got that will stick to your soul only if shila prabhupad's person mercy is upon us otherwise we'll forget it so these are such wonderful gifts which will free us from miseries of this material world which is free us from birth death old age disease which will give us eternal life in a spiritual body in the eternal world all these things can happen when one develops a personal relationship with shila prabhu pada with one's guru yasya prasada bhagavat prasada yasya prasada nagati kutopi only by the mercy of spiritual master one can actually mercy of shila prabhu pada one can get the mercy of krishna krishna is seated in all our heart sarvasya chaham hridi sannivishtah and he gives us this powerful spiritual knowledge which is like the light that will that will break the darkness paramatma as krishna as paramatma in the heart will give us this in proportionate to our surrender to our spiritual master in proportionate to the service we render to spiritual master the service being rendered to the spiritual master is an opportunity for the living entity to learn how to render service to krishna which is our ultimate occupation in the spiritual world pure devotion service service for the sake of serving the lord not for anything in return service for the sake of serving the lord 
So Pariprashne in a Seraya. Now we are all committed to Srila Prabhupada. We are all <coughs> following his instructions. Many of you are chanting 16 rounds, following all the regulatory principles, or at least trying to follow all the regulatory principles. So you are all blessed to have already received the Kripa of Prabhupada. More blessed than many people who are not at they may be materially well off, materially poor, influential, non-influential, millions of living entities, living millions of human beings are in this Bangalore city. Now you are all blessed to have received this much Shraddha, faith in Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada his mind he has revealed as a Jagat Guru, as a Yuga Acharya, he has revealed to the world that you can do service to me in three ways. Distribute my books, distribute holy name, distribute prasadam. Just see, anybody who is a faithful follower of Srila Prabhupada, he can do all these three things in any circumstances. Whether there is a temple or not in the city, if he reads Srila Prabhupada's books, if he is inspired, if he wants to serve Srila Prabhupada, then there is an opportunity for him to distribute books, distribute the holy name, make other people chant Hare Krishna, and distribute prasadam. So these three things should every follower of Srila Prabhupada should keep in mind. Just like every businessman, wherever he goes, he sees everything with a business eye, how to make money. The disciple also, wherever he goes, he always looks for how to get an opportunity to do these three things. Can I make them chant Hare Krishna? Can I distribute books? Can I distribute some prasadam? Because these three things, they plant the seed of bhakti. So as disciples of Srila Prabhupada, our business is to go on planting the seed wherever possible, wherever possible. Then we are doing seva to Srila Prabhupada. If you distribute, if you make people chant Hare Krishna, you will get more of Hare Krishna into your heart. You will develop attachment to the holy name. You will develop attraction to the holy name. You will develop taste for chanting. So, if you do seva of nama, you will get the taste. If you distribute Srila Prabhupada's books, Prabhupada's book is packed with spiritual knowledge, packed with Divya Jnana. If you distribute Srila Prabhupada's books, every act of distributing Prabhupada's books will plant in you a bit of that knowledge that you are giving, even if you don't read it. Within the heart, Srila Prabhupada will plant that. You will have that realization, you will have that understanding, you will have that enlightenment. Books are meant for, Srila Prabhupada's books are meant by spiritual enlightenment. So by distributing books, you accelerate your own enlightenment. By distributing prasadam at every opportunity, you are ensuring that life after life, even if you don't back, go back to Vaikuntha, you ensure that always prasadam you will get. So always ensure that you distribute prasadam. You will never, in any life, 
be in a situation where you don't have prasadam. You distribute the holy name Your shuddha for holy name increases. Your taste for holy name increases. Your closeness of relationship with the holy name increases. Your chanting will not be mechanical. If you do distribution of the holy name. Reading Srila Prabhupada's books is so important. Chanting our souls is very important. Our souls taking prasadam is so important. Just like Prabhupada said, distribute these three things. We are today in, in Krishna consciousness. We have got this opportunity. Each one of you are sitting here because one or more of these things has happened to you. Because books have come to you. Because you started chanting, because somebody told you to chant, because you are taking Krishna Prasad. So, propagating this mission of Vaikuntha, propagating this mission of Lord, these are the three merciful manifestation of Lord's mercy. And the Srila Prabhupada's books is the starting point. Before even you tell somebody who is going to chant Hare Krishna, he has to read books. Before you can value prasadam, he has to read books. So book distribution is a very important service to Srila Prabhupada and service Prabhupada will be very pleased. And any service that is pleasing to the spiritual master we take up, you see that Krishna is behind us. Krishna gives us the inspiration. Krishna gives us the intelligence. Krishna gives us the strategy. Krishna gives us speaking capacity. Krishna gives us contacts. Krishna gives us, tells us where to go. So there are so many challenges. In the material world, nothing happens easily. You want to distribute books, there is challenge. You want to distribute prasadam, there is challenge. You want to distribute holy name, there is challenge. There is a challenge of right kind of intelligence. There is a challenge of getting the right kind of energy. There is a challenge to execute the right kind of work. We have to do the right kind of work. If I had to go from here to here, there is a work. I have to walk from here like this. There is a direction and there is walking, then there is bala. Jnana, bala and kriya. To do anything in this material world, you need jnana, bala and kriya. And if you want to do service to Srila Prabhupada, you offer your jnana, bala and kriya to your best of your capacity and you will see whatever jnana you are lacking compensated by the Lord. Whatever Bala is, is lacking to do the service is compensated by Guru and Krishna, the heart. Whatever acting ability or action skills or act activity that you have to do, if something is lacking in it, then Krishna will supply. Yoga Kshema Maham Him, Krishna says, I protect what you have, your Jnana, Bala and Kriya, and I will give you what is a deficit Jnana, Bala and Kriya so that you can put that deficit and you can execute my service. But you have to have a desire. You have to have a desire to do more than what you can. That is very important. If you say, oh, I have, I have only this much, I can do only this much. Then that is one level of devotion service. Next devotion service is, no, I don't have this ability but Krishna will give me the ability because I want to serve Srila Prabhupada in this way. And I want to experience this miracle. I want to experience this excitement of how Krishna is with me. Just like how Krishna was with Arjuna. If you want to do devotion service to Srila Prabhupada and Krishna, then Krishna will be with us personally. 
and this marathon is a great opportunity for every devotee to experience this only when you do practical service to guru then you can experience krishna being with you in your activities you can practically experience how you can practically experience you will see how krishna is seated in the heart gives you the intelligence gives you the ideas how krishna gives the right kind of arrangement external arrangement contacts meeting the right people after meeting the right people how krishna gives you the the ability to speak even though you are not planned what to speak you speak in such a way that person will say yes give me this book i want to buy that speaking ability convincing ability all this will you can experience beyond your capacity so this book marathon is a great opportunity for all of us to experience by practical service experience how krishna is with you to execute devotion service to his pure devotee shila prabhupad and prabhupad has no other desire than to please krishna today we are going to start the marathon and all of you are going to go distribute books today we are in 2016 the same bangalore city i remember 1984 83 84 every day i used to go to kempegowda road open one foldable table keep bhagavad gita keep all the books keep mala and everything morning morning to evening 10 o'clock to 5 o'clock used to stand there and one or two books would go thousands of people are walking one or two books that is small books mostly they want mala or they want cassettes they don't want books the very same organization is gone which was there in 1983 in bangalore we are here to go to kempegowda circle stand and sell two books a whole day today thousands of people are coming here and every day 200 300 geetas are sold here so prabhupada has built this temple prabhupada has built this brand through all the sevaks who sincerely wanted to serve him this iconic temple is standing today the name of his con especially because of akshay patra so respected anywhere you go you say from his con they will say this so already there is a very good background for you it is much easier now to sell a book to somebody then it was 25 years back good name makes it easy so now we should take this opportunity the ease with which you can go to the right kind of people you can get into their offices you can speak to them and you will see that krishna and prabhupada does miracle you will see wonderful things happening you already know many of you are most of you are doing mar- book marathon year after year and you are seeing during that time some special energy comes and envelops you and you do miraculous things you get special energy to go out your brain starts working how to distribute where to go what to do everything starts working and this service will please shila prabhupada it will purify you the more books you distribute 
more effort you put in distributing the books more will be your realization of the content of these books more bhagavad gita as you distribute deeper will become your understanding of the message of bhagavad gita it's a mystical process because ultimately man proposes god disposes man can struggle for something but god has to give it so you want knowledge you give this knowledge you'll get this knowledge and as i explained it is not only doing the marathon once you get the taste of it as a disciple of shila prabhupad the mission of the spiritual master is always in the mind of the disciple wherever he is going whatever circumstance is there his mind is working how to give one book how to induce this person to chant hare krishna how to distribute prasadam and then you will see that so many opportunities open up otherwise if you don't have the color glass the purpose of my guru you have to see the world with that with that color glass a lusty man always sees with the color glass of lust whole world he'll see lust meant for my enjoyment a business man will see with the color glass of business hey, here there is an opportunity to be anybody he meets any circumstance go oh, my business can expand here in this way a purifying purpose for a disciple is how i can distribute books how i can distribute prasadam how i can distribute the holy name one cannot find a shortcut to spiritual realization i i don't want to do all these things i'll just chant hari krishna and your, your growth also will be limited your spiritual growth will be limited i will only take only if you give you can take only if you give you can receive this is a principle universal principle what you give you will get you give books you will get spiritual knowledge you will give holy name to others you will get taste for chanting you give prasadam you will get the prasada yoga always do you only take i take i don't give to anybody then it will it will not expand it will remain there whatever that also will go away so this is a perspective with which you should do the service the perspective is it is a great opportunity for me to make spiritual advancement is a concentrated one month time where i can anyway i am outside world and i am so much lost in so many things for 11 months one month let me now keep this always in my mind look at the world in the spirit of how to uh, distribute more and more books book marathon this calls marathon marathon means you know you, you completely concentrate on that particular activity devotees have so much experience miraculous experiences who or has participated anybody who is newly participating in this please join on earlier group exchange the wonderful things that has happened and during the course of marathon i want each of you to talk to others about how wonderfully what happened i went here this man spoke like this first he said no then i prayed to prabhupada and after 5 minutes he said give me the book and these books are not ordinary even if somebody buys this book if he doesn't read he keeps in his home 
it is like you know it's like installing deities in your home Srila Prabhupada said every town and village one devotee was asking Srila Prabhupada Prabhupada is it only every town and village or uh, Prabhupada said no 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 uh, he quoted that sloka Nityananda Prabhu said gare gare house after house that means every house not every town and village Every house, Krishna Nama should be distributed. So we should desire for Srila Prabhupada. Every house should have at least one book of Srila Prabhupada. You can tell these things to the people also. If the person is a pious person, you can tell. Even if you don't time to read, sir, just take this book, keep in your house. Everything will change in your house. These books are not ordinary books. If you read it is great. If you don't read, just keep in the showcase, you will see what will happen. Maybe the person buys, he keeps it there after 15 years, 20 years that is sitting there. One grandson or somebody will read that and then he will become a devotee. This is the power of these books. People come and go, but these teachings will remain. Just like Prabhupada was asked, what will happen to the moment after your life? After you die, press people asked. Prabhupada said, I will never die. I live forever in my books. So when you are giving books to people, you are giving living Prabhupada to those people. You are giving something which lively and it speaks. And that is the first devotion service that they are rendering because they have given their hard money first time out for purchasing a book. This is also the one of the reasons why Prabhupada said don't distribute free books. Because in what happened in free books, they have not done any service. We have to make them do some service. That is why you have to take money. They are hard earned money. Don't give free books. You can give them in discounted books, but we cannot give free books. Even materially, they will not have value if you give free, number one. And spiritually also, they would not have done any service. So therefore, when you are going to distribute those books, please don't think that you are selling books. The money you are getting is not, you are not selling books. You are not going out to sell books. The person who is buying may be thinking he is buying a book. But you are going there to make him do some seva for the Lord. When a person is completely not connected to this knowledge, what is the first seva he can do? He used to give his hard, hard earned money. Just like what a seva the person can do, starting with, let's say, he comes to temple, he puts something in the hundi for the Lord. That starts his seva. Because before one becomes a devotee, The highest value that man has got is for the money. So what he values high, he should give to the Lord. And we can see that their bhakti begins by buying one book. So therefore, you have to change your, your perspective. People may think you are selling books. But you should always think that I am the messenger of Srila Prabhupada. I am going to I am going to deliver something from Vaikuntha. I am so fortunate to get this job to go and distribute something from Vaikuntha. 
This should be the consciousness. Then you will have the energy. Then you have the fire. Then you will be ready to meet anybody. Then you are ready to meet anybody rejecting. A battery, hold it. It will not affect you. Or somebody says, battery, hold it, they They say, oh yo, atra hell bitter la. You will feel bad. But if your determination is to, what will you think when he said battery hogri? You will feel bad for him, not for you. You will feel bad for him. Unfortunate, what to do? Hare Krishna. Krishna bless you. Go to the next, go to the next, go to the next, go to the next. And the secret to do more and more book distribution is go and hit many, 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 many points. Don't think too much. If you think too much, your distribution of books will decrease. Just like if you think too much during Japa, your quality of Japa will go down. Similarly, if you think too much, you will not be free. That force of Krishna in your heart will not come out freely. Don't think at all. Just go whatever, you, wherever you feel like going. Whatever inspiration you get, go try this, try this, try this, try this, try this. Then you will see, you know, you will be crowned with successful distribution of books. When you get up in the morning, this is marathon. Now today before evening, I should maximize the number of contacts, number of touch points to sell books. Whether they buy or not, it is different. Try, try, try. Krishna also teaches us that don't be attached to the, you know, you are not the master of the results. He will teach us how to, how to execute our duty to our Guru. Result is in Krishna's hands. You should have a strong desire to distribute more and more books. We should dovetail our desiring capacity to desire to see that, you know, I distribute more and more of this books of Srila Prabhupada in this coming month. And also after distributing each book successfully, you take pleasure, feel yourself happy. Somewhere somebody's life will change. Now this book has gone. And my service will not be forgotten by Prabhupada and Krishna. The service somebody renders to give one book to another person will not be forgotten by Prabhupada or Krishna. It is your permanent asset. Even after many, many lifetimes, Krishna will remember this devotee participated in this marathon and distributed Prabhupada's books. So this is a great opportunity to do good to ourselves and to good to others. To do good to others, by that we do good to ourselves. Our spiritual realization will, will expand. We will become more and more rooted in Krishna consciousness. And less and less rooted in this temporary material world. Any questions? So I hope all of you are participating in this marathon. 
taking some books, keeping in your house. Every opportunity you get, you go to, let's say there is a party in the house, try to give some books. Sometimes you will be hesitant of how to ask him money. Look like I am selling book. No, you keep books on a table, party is going on, on a table. Put on small slip, donation, 200 rupees. Keep all Bhagavad Gita's. You don't have to tell also. Donation to temple, 200. What, what is the Bhagavad Gita today? Huh? 170. 150. Donation. Only keep Gita's only. Donation to temple, 150. And somebody will take one book, put the money. Like this, so many ideas you can do. You all can come up with so many wonderful ideas. When your goal is very clear, how to distribute maximum. Because each person's environment is different. Suppose you are, you, you are, you are an employer. So many employees are there. And the employee is getting married. And you want to give some gift to him or her. Pack one nice Bhagavad Gita. Give that as a gift. Induce other people to do the same thing. Do this Vidyadana. Adhyatmika Vidyadana. Ordinary Vidyadana itself is big punya. Adhyatmika Vidyadana is super punya. So basically each one of us will, should first think that I am gaining from this. If I don't do this, I am losing an opportunity to build some asset, spiritual asset. I am losing opportunity. So, wish you all the best for the marathon, book marathon. How many of you are participating in book marathon? Please raise your hands. Yes. Those who raised hands, first catch the people who have not raised the hands. <laughs> you already got the first set of people. You tell them, this year you start in a small way. I don't know how. Here is 10 Gita for you. <laughs> End of the month you come. <laughs> Any announcements? Announcements are there? Huh? Let him come and make announcement. Okay, Grandra Chimat Bhagavatam ki, Shila Prabhupada ki, Shila Prabhupada book marathon ki.